Hey guys, Trevin here, back for part 2 of EVE Online Quick Tips. The overview is a big part of EVE Online, and being able to interpret it correctly could mean the difference between success and failure. To start setting up your overview, let's first make two new tabs. After that's done, let's assign, then save a new preset to each tab like so. Now you should be able to see that each tab has its own save preset. In my case, the presets are General, Drones, Hostile, Friendly, and D-Scan. This can change based on your own preferences and current activities in your Eden. Now let's right click these little bars here, opening the Overview Settings window. These name boxes accept basic HTML formatting, so let's make the tabs easier to see by assigning a color and increasing the size. Next, we go to Tab Presets, then Types. Here you can select what you want to appear when your preset is selected. For general, I select Ships, Stations, Citadels, The Suns, Charges, and Stargates. For Drones, I select only Drones. I select Ships, The Sun, Charges, and Stargates for both Hostile and Friendly tabs. Lastly, I select Paw Shields and other items for the D-Scan tab. This preset you'll often change depending on what you are trying to find through D-Scan. In this case, I'm trying to find player-owned stations, so I'll add moons as well. Now let's move to states. These options allow you to filter out things like fleet mates, people with poor standing, and the likes. For general, we aren't touching this. For drones, let's filter out allied drones. For hostile, I filter out everyone with good standing as well as fleet mates. For the Allied tab, I do the opposite, filtering out bad standing and only showing people with good standing and fleet made ships. D-Scan doesn't need a filter. Now that that's finished, we can move to columns. These can be sorted and selected based on preferences, but starting out, let's select name, distance, tag, icon, velocity, corp ticker, alliance ticker, and ship type. Under the Appearance tab, you'll find small color tags and small font. Small color tags are again a matter of personal preference. I personally do not use them. I'd avoid changing color tag settings until you're more experienced with the game interface. Otherwise, what you see and what other people see will be different and lead to confusion. However, we do want to change the backgrounds. Select the Background tab and change every unselected item's color to the same white color. Then select them. The purpose of this is to make other capsuleers more visible on your overview window. This 
is not a requirement and will not affect your ability to interpret the overview. It is again a matter of personal preference. Our basic overview is now complete. To further customize and change the selected item appearance, you can use this third-party program called Eve Custom Ship Labeler, which comes with its own guide. If you don't want to use a third-party program, you can directly edit the YAML files in Notepad++ like so. I'll put this in the description for anyone who wants to use it. Once you've exported your desired overview settings, they should appear in the Documents folder called E, then the subfolder Overview. Now you can right-click in Overview Settings, Import Overview Settings. You locate the settings you just created and import them. Select another tab to reload the settings and display your changes. If the color tags are absent, as they often are, and you want them back, uncheck and then recheck small ship icons. I use Suetonia's appearance settings. I'll link his channel and settings in the description as well. If you decide you like the default Eve settings after all, or ever accidentally load someone else's overview, you can restore from past overviews under history. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see part 3 Exploration Tricks.